Mm. What have we got here? We have the new turbo rollers by iQuip. You're going to get them out and give them a go. And um, yeah, trial and try and test. Yeah, Valley is better than making block three years. Oh, Valley heard good things. I know. They actually do know because I'm pretty sure iQuip sent me one of them, the prototype, a few years back. Because does do these have like the the actual plastic in liner? Yeah, it's a solid resistant plastic. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I actually got the I actually got the the, the test up. Alright, here we are. We got something new for you all to see. I know you've been out and about, but We've just got some here that we're going to try and test, and hey, I'll give you my honest opinion on um, what I think of them. Also, so they are the new I Quit Turbo Roller. Uh, these are supposed to be obviously what they say: faster and easier painting with less splatter. So you can dip and roll further or longer, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, we're going to give these a go. They do come in a different um, size naps. So you have the 11 millimeter, you have the 15, and you have the 22. So you get these in different sizes as well. You got the 270, 360, and 460. So you got you know multiple applications um, and variations to whatever you want to roll. Uh, different from smooth texture to rough surfaces. So yeah, we're gonna get on, give them a go, and let you know what we think. We are using new wall start bucket. Well, maybe not new, but new for me. Um, so yeah, interesting to see what these are like. Also has built-in track runner, which is pretty good. Makes it pretty handy instead of having to always, you know, have a separate piece or different track as well. So yeah, very keen on the built-in track. And probably one of the most important things for me is having uh, an airtight lid. So at the end of the day, instead of having to wash everything up or makeshift a lid or a cover or something like that, um, now you can just put this this on, um, yeah, put it in a safe place, and the next day you can get it out and away you go. So that's really good because, as you probably all know, I like the old fields one. Um, because I never really found another one that had the airtight lids, but hey, we've got one from Woolstar and we're gonna give this a test also. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, what do you wanna do? 15 mil probably? Or what would you actually use for the ballsy? Uh, I'll probably use a 15 on this one because they're already really rough. Um, like I said, these walls ain't super smooth or anything like that. So yeah, I'll probably just use a 15 millimeter nap on this one. So we'll crack one open. We'll give it a go. And good thing about these two, reusable bags. So after you've washed it out, put it back in. You can hang it on a hook inside your truck or um, in the back of your ute. Keeps it nice and dry. Keeps anything from drying out as well. Didn't really mention before. They got a new inner core. So the new inner core um, has been designed for us. They've been working on this for a good couple of years now, I think, to make it um, 100%. Yeah, so it's made up of um, a solid resistant plastic. So, you know, with a lot of the other rollers or the other rolling brands out there, they still use the cardboard inner core and over time they do get mouldy and they do rot and soften. Uh, so yeah, definitely a step up from a lot of the other brands out there. I think these are one of the first actually that do have the solvent resistant plastic inner core. So super cool also, always advancing, uh, but one of the most important things too, first time using the roller, always give it a nice um, wash underneath the tap. You don't really have to use any detergent or anything like that. It's just really to 
we have the inner nap um, or the fabric so yeah it doesn't dry out pretty much better release easy to wash up at the end of the day so that's all we gotta do we're gonna find a a shower <laughs> we'll find a tap out the back I will remind you as well don't wash any paint down the sinks peeps we're gonna protect our waterways our oceans now we can come through just First dip. Fuck it on. First dip as well. One thing to be mindful is don't just stick it in there because what usually happens when you do that, you cover one side with paint, which is going to be heavier, and then try to get an even paint distribution across your whole roller will make it a lot more harder. Um, so always, when you stick it in for the first time, just do it lightly. Work the roller in the whole way around like this. Then start putting a bit more on. And well, that way you're getting a nice and even distribution the whole way across the roller. All right, that should be sweet. We've worked it all in pretty well on this one. So we're gonna put it on the wall. So another thing I like to do, I don't think I've ever really done a, um, a video rolling out a wall and the way I like to do it. So here's the perfect time using the new iClip rollers. Um, so yeah, the way I like to put it on, spread it out, I suppose, then tip it off. Uh, what I always like to do, I always like to work outwards from the wall, back in, and then lay it off outwards, and then do the same process again. So what I'll do, spread it out a little, and go up. Well, then roll it out, but then well, there's, I always like to work my roller back in to it then that way yeah dip again another thing as well try to keep the roller or roller tray close as possible to you that way you're not having to walk too far to keep going so probably not the best wall to work on because such a same color but same thing go out And then you can work back into where you have already been. That way you're always keeping that edge as well. Now roll back into your work. Like that, that way you're not getting any join marks as well. Especially in the heat, uh, it will determine how far you want to go also. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I could push this thing. I can pretty much do, I, I, I really think I could do nearly one dip per wall with this thing. So what we'll do, we might go on to another room 
where the colors of where it's a bit darker on the wall and I'll just show you actually how far you can push this thing I'll load it up as much as I can um, and we'll see how far this thing can actually go I like the actual fact that you've got the little plastic handle as well with your little finger grooves gives a bit more comfortability which is sometimes very important I'll head into another room all right, so now we've just switched into another room because um, this wall's a little bit darker, so you'll be able to see, uh, see how far I can go with this. I've just measured this wall um, from this corner to this frame here. We've got three metres, three metres wide, and we're probably about two and a half, two and a half, three metres tall, I'd say. So anyway, I'm going to get into it. I'll load this up as much as I can. Right, it's not dripping off, but she's definitely well loaded up, as you can see. Uh, I can pretty much roll all day as well and still have the end nice and clean, which is pretty important as well because that means you're dipping it nice and evenly. You're not dunking it in your roller because um, as soon as you start getting paint on this end as well, when you're rolling, it'll start splattering onto your wall, um, which is very, you know, very important not to do. So, I'll be able to do this three meter wall in, yeah, no more than two dips. So we'll start it out, we'll spread it out. We'll go right to the corner. You just work back into it, smooth off any of the train tracks you get, all the thick edges. So as you can see, there's, you know, nearly at least two meters that I've got just with that one dip. And we're not even using, we're only using the 15 millimeter on this one as well. So, uh, There we go. So yeah, super cool. First time using, got a lot of distance, um, got a lot of even paint distribution across the whole wall, laid it off nicely. Very minimal splatter was what we're looking for also. Keep it clean. All right, so there we are. I've just given these a new trial and test and I'm absolutely loving them. So these are gonna be one of my go-to rollers from now on, that's for sure. Like I said, going from um, 11 millimeter all the way up to a 22 from a 270 size all the way up to a full 60. So yeah, get, in, get into them. Faster and easier painting is what we're always looking for and we've actually found it. So. Um, yeah, if you want to try these bad boys, hit up, go industrial. They got the full range from the size of that to um, your length. So yeah, try them. Also, very important if you want to get a bit of a discount, which is always good. We're always trying to save money, yeah. 
uh, get a bit of bang for your buck. So jump on when you're ordering through um, Go Industrial, put in PBJ. So that's your discount code, PBJ, you can get yourself a discount also. Appreciate you as always tuning in. Much love. Hope you enjoy the new iQuip um, rollers. Mm -hmm.